Hello, my name is Derek Hall. I'm Head of Policy and Research at the Consumer Council for Water. We are a statutory consumer body to represent the views and interests of water and sewage customers across England and Wales. We do this in three ways. We research customer views on a whole range of issues, such as their satisfaction with the services they receive from their local company and the value for money of those services. We also look at the issues that are of concern to them, such as water resource management, including reliability of supply, issues around metering and around sewer flooding. We've also been engaged in doing a lot of research around customer views of the introduction of non-household competition and domestic competition. We also uh, undertake a lot of research on affordability issues. We're also involved in handling complaints from customers. We receive around 11,000 per year, which is about one-tenth of the number that the companies receive. And these are largely about billing matters, but they also uncover uh, issues around services that customers find are not to their satisfaction. And we also handle inquiries from customers, again about 11,000 per year, how can I actually push the right buttons to get the company to resolve my query? And we too use both the complaints and the research to influence the agenda. We've been very keen on ensuring that the introduction of competition in the non-household retail market is fit for purpose. So we've been doing a lot of work with the regulator on governance issues and codes of practice to avoid mis-selling, rollover contracts and complex tariffs. And we've also been looking at things around affordability. We do press the water companies to improve their services and to enhance their communication with customers. 92% of customers tell us that they're satisfied with the services they receive, but only 72% are satisfied with the value for money of those services. It's quite a big gap to uh, bridge. What companies need to do, more than uh, ever, is to communicate with their customers tell them about the services they receive and hopefully that value for money will rise. Customers of course have some major priorities. They want a safe, reliable supply of water. They also want the effective collection and disposal of sewage and as I've already mentioned affordable bills and bill stability. In terms of safety 99.95% of water in this country amongst the best in Europe meets the top standards. But there are some issues around discoloration, particularly in the older urban areas, and issues around taste and odour. But one of the biggest problems and which knocks confidence in the water industry is when there is a major water quality incident. Last year, 320,000 customers were affected by a water quality incident in the Preston and Fylde area. This was bad news for customers who had to boil water for several weeks and it was bad news for the water company. The industry needs to do more to actually ensure that the safety of their supply is paramount. There's also issues around reliability and particularly leakage. It's rising. It's currently is around 19% of the water put in supplies lost to leakage. And with climate change affecting resources particularly in the south and the east of the country, and with abstraction reform on the government's agenda, there's going to be a real need to conserve water. And companies must take their responsibilities seriously. They must uh, reduce leakage levels. Because if they're asking customers to conserve water and they're not doing the same, then those customers will probably not want to help. And that would be bad news for everyone.